Hello and welcome back to our class. Our topic for today is solving one step equation using multiplication property of equality. Whenever we say multiplication property of equality, it states that when we multiply both sides of an equation by the same number, the two sides remain equal. So let's have our example number one here. So solve and check. So we have 4x is equal to 16. We want to find out the value of x that will make the equation true. So here we will use the multiplication property of equality. Now, so instead of multiplying here, I'll divide both sides of the equation by 4 because I'll undo the process. Okay? So 4x divided by 4 will give us x is equal to 4. Now, we found out that the value of x is equal to 4. We would like to substitute the value of x to 4x is equal to 16, okay, and determine whether the value of x will satisfy the equation. So I'll substitute the value of x, which is equal to 4. So 4 times 4, is it equal to 16? So 4 times 4 is 16, is equal to 16. Since, okay, the value of x, which is equal to 4, will make the statement true. Therefore, x is equal to 4. Let's have another example. So solve and check 3x all over 4 is equal to 24. So we have a fraction here. So the first thing that we will do is look for the multiplicative inverse of 3 fourths. So let's rewrite the equation. So 3 over 4, x is equal to 24. Okay. Now, so what you're going to do is, okay, get the reciprocal of 3 fourths. So which is actually 4 over 3. So multiply both sides of the equation by 4 over 3. Okay, so I can factor this one out. So x will give us now 4 thirds times 24. Then think of a number that can divide 24 and 3. So 24 divided by 3 will give us 8. Then 3 divided by 3 will give us 1. So what we have now is 4 times 8, 4 times 8, all over 1, or x is equal to 32. Okay, so let's check if the answer x is equal to 32 will make the equation correct. So I have here 3 fourths. Okay, substitute the value of x, which is equal to 32. Is it equal to 24? So, let's verify. Now, look for the GCF of 32 and 4. So, that is actually 4. So, 4 divided by 4 is 1. 32 divided by 4 is equal to 8. Then, I have here 3 times 8. Is it equal to 24? So, 24 is equal to 24. So, this is correct. So, the value of x, which is equal to 32, is the correct answer. Okay, so let's have this example. So, we have negative 2x all over 3 is equal to positive 6. So, let's rewrite first negative 2 thirds x is equal to 6. So, again, I'll get the opposite or reciprocal of negative 2 thirds, so which is equal to negative 3 over 2. Okay? Since I multiply negative 3 over 2 on the left side of the equation, I multiply also this value to the right side of the equation. Okay? So, I can factor this one out now. So, x is equal to negative 3 over 2 times 6. But take note that there's a number that can divide between 2 and 6. So, divide by 2. So, this is 1. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. So, I have here now negative 3 times 3 or x is equal to negative 9. Now, we want to find out if the value of x, which is equal to negative 9, will make the equation true. So I have here negative 2, then substitute the value of x, which is equal to negative 9. 
all over 3, is it equal to 6? So take note, negative times negative will give us positive. Next, so negative 9 divided by 3 will give us, okay, negative 3. Then 3 divided by 3 is 1. So we have here negative 2. Okay, so negative 2 times negative 3, is it equal to 6? Okay, so negative times negative is actually positive 6. So we have now 6 is equal to 6. So therefore, the value of x is equal to 